How's it going everyone? In this video I'll show you how to make clickable end screens for your YouTube videos for free. This is a quick and easy method using the free online graphic design tool Canva. Stay tuned to the end and I'll show you how to add these end screens in YouTube. So let's get into it. Firstly sign up to canva.com if you haven't already done so. There is a paid pro version but what I'm about to show you 100% works in the free version. Now in the search box type in YouTube outro and it will give you a suggested size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. This is fine for me but if you want a 4k resolution you can click on create a design in the top right and then click custom dimensions and you can type in the 4k resolution of 3840 by 2160 then click create new design. I'll go with the standard HD version by clicking the suggested search box. As you can see Canva will now present you with a range of animated and still YouTube end screen templates. When you hover over them they will play the animation. There are over 243 different templates to choose from. There are some pretty cool ones here. Don't worry if you can't find something you exactly like. Everything in the template is customizable. I like the ones with two videos and the subscribe button in the middle. It gives the viewers some choices to help improve your watch time. So once you've selected a template, you will now be in the Canva editor. If you hover over any of the elements, a blue box will appear around it showing that you can select it and edit it. If you click on the text, it will select it and a new menu will appear at the top. You can of course click and drag to move it around or double click to edit the text. What I'll do is change the top text to subscribe for more videos because I prefer that headline. I'll also change the font to Montserrat Extra Bold and change the text color by clicking on this color button. You can then choose any of these default colors or click on this multicolored button to choose a specific color. I only need white so I'll choose that. I'll also delete this bottom text to make it less cluttered and I'll also delete this logo and add in my own. To add your own logo click on uploads then upload media. Select the file and this would upload it to Canva so it will always be there which is super handy. I already have it uploaded because I've done this before so I'll, I will select it and add it to the bottom. You can resize it by clicking and dragging in the corners. This template is a video and you can preview what it looks like by clicking the play button at the top. It also shows you the length of the video which is 10 seconds. As you can see there is a video playing in the background and there is animations on the text and one of the arrows. You can adjust the length of the video by clicking on the main video then clicking the scissors at the top. By adjusting the sliders back and forth you can adjust the length, the start time and the end time. To change the background video just select the background and click delete on your keyboard. Then select the videos tab in the left hand side then click and drag in a video you like. Make sure it snaps into the background by hovering it over to the sides. I will add in a video of space because that's what I like. The videos will be labeled as free or pro. In this case I'll choose a free one. You can of course upload your own videos using the upload tab. You can also upload pictures or audio. If you don't want a video background you can add a picture as a background or just have a coloured background. There are loads of pictures to choose from. If you just want a coloured background delete the existing background and then click the background colour box in the top left and then choose a colour. If the template has sound it will appear in this button at the bottom. I don't want any sound on my end screen so I will just select it and then hit delete. You can add a new song by clicking the music tab on the left hand side and then dragging that into the editor. 
If you want to add any animations, you can click on the Elements tab and search any keyword plus animation. For example, subscribe animation. Canva has a ton of pre-made animations that you can use. These ones look good. You can add in a animated subscribe text or can add some moving arrows. You get the idea. In terms of animating all the elements in the design, this is controlled by this button here. If I select block, the text swipes in. You also have fade, pan, rise and tumble and a few more in the paid version. Once you've finished refining your end screen, you can download the video here. Or if you click this down arrow, you can download the PNG or JPEG image of the screen. Then just add it into your video editor. Once that's finished downloading, you can just click and drag it into your video editor. I use Camtasia. This is one of my previous edits. I'm just clicking and dragging into the end of my edits. I'll make the screen larger so that you can see what it looks like. Now we need to head over to YouTube and upload this video. Once you added your end screen and uploaded your video to YouTube, in the video details or editor screen, you will see the end screen option. Click on this and then add in the elements you want and line them up in the correct positions. In my case, I will add a subscribe, video and playlist element. You then just need to line up the elements with your end card layout. I'm showing an example of an older video without an end card, so you can't see the one we just made. However, once you've added the end screen to your video, you'll be able to see it in this window and line up these three elements correctly. Click save and that's it. If you have TubeBuddy, you can set this video as an end screen template and then apply this template to every new video you publish. This saves you time having to add the elements one by one and lining them up correctly every time. A box will pop up and you just enter the name of the template and then click OK and then that will save it. So uh, in the drop down menu, once you add an end screen, it will give you the option to apply that template. I forgot to mention that this end screen template feature is only available in a pro version of TubeBuddy. I used a free version for a long time, but then I started to take YouTube seriously and I upgraded to the pro version. And it's this feature along with the keyword research tool that has been extremely helpful in helping me grow my channel and get monetized. I used a keyword explorer to find titles and tags for all my videos. Before that, I was just creating videos and naming my videos, whatever I wanted. And it was like a shot in the dark. Now, each one of my videos is like a sniper rifle targeting a specific question and key phrase that people are searching for and need answers to. So if you want to take your videos to the next level and you think these features will help you, feel free to sign up. If not, no worries. I'll put a link to TubeBuddy in the description to make it easy for you. And this is the uh, finished end screen that I went with. As you can see, it uh, looks pretty good. So that's it for today. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe or watch another video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.